Today I'm calling hotels as a mom because I believe they need to learn a thing or two about Southern hospitality. I look like I'm about to have a great time, but actually I'm about to have a panic attack. Welcome back everyone to Dunk Can You Not. I can't believe I'm doing this again. If you haven't seen my other videos where I prank call restaurants, schools, scammers. And the other day I thought, how have I not done hotels? I am a hotel fanatic. So I know a thing or two about what good service looks like. And I'm here to test the people at the front desk if they're willing to handle the Southern hospitality. So to start, we're gonna begin with budget-friendly hotels and slowly work our way up to the expensive five star hotels. This is extremely hard video for me to make because it gets really awkward really quick. Uh, so pray for me. Hi there, so I ordered a smoothie for room service and they gave me yogurt in a plastic bag. I'm just a little confused. Is my smoothie still coming? Any food or room service like that. Oh, you, you don't? No, sorry. Then who the hell came to my door? No idea. Oh, room are you in? Oh, room 23. We don't have a room 23. You may be calling the wrong location. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was calling the Motel 6 in Lost Hills. I'm sorry. It is the Motel 6 in Lost Hills. <laughs> well, then I'm lost. I'll come to the front desk and we'll sort this out right now. Okay, perfect. Sounds great. I'll be in a big dress. Uh, you won't be able to miss me. I'm sure I won't. What was that supposed to mean? Well, you put a big dress. How am I gonna miss a big dress? <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, us Southerners, we just, we don't mix well with undertones like that. I'm fine. Well, I can't wait to put a name to a face when I see you. Okay, sounds great. See you soon. <laughs> Why did I say 23? Who's ever stayed in a room 23? Hi there, um, I just had a small little complaint. Um, I'm in the pool and I just think it's a little too cold. Is it possible to warm it up? Um, we don't have a pool here. You don't have a pool? We don't have a pool. Then what the hell am I swimming in? I'm at your location. I just checked in 20 minutes ago. Um, well, I'm gonna dry off and thank you for your help. Sure. Bye -bye. What the hell am I swimming in? <laughs> Courtyard residence, Joan. Hi there. I was just wondering if I'm getting kicked out of my room. Um. What is the room number? It's uh, 311, but I just came in and my bed was made like I didn't even sleep in it. Okay, uh, what's the last name? Uh, Tina. That the last name is Tina? Yes. In 311? Yes. And there's somebody else in that room. Um, oh, oh, that was my first so do name. Do you have the wrong room number? Um, give me a second, please hold. Hi there, are you the lady that was at the front desk that gave me a stink eye? I, I hope I wasn't. When did you check in? Oh, I, I think it was you. I, I checked in five minutes ago. I don't think it was me. I was actually behind the office before I got home. How are you so sure? If someone on our team made you uncomfortable, so sorry and I'm apologizing on that. Thank you so much. Can I get five breakfast vouchers for the inconvenience? We don't have breakfast. Okay, well then five bar vouchers. We don't have any bar vouchers yet. Okay, well my son is in the lobby. Can you find him? Just, have you lost your son? Uh, no, I just can't find him. Oh, uh, so, all right. I know how to mother. You know, if I've answered all your questions, I hope you have a great rest of your same You still didn't tell me if my son's in the lobby. She was defending her life. She's like, I don't think it was me. I was in the back office. It was you. I wasn't there, but it was you. Hi 
Hi there, I'm in room 227. There is a pungent odor coming from the room next to me. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Do you know which room number it's coming from? Uh, oh, are you accusing me of the smell? Sorry, it's just that there's this undertone that you think that I'm a smelly person. Ma'am, I do not think that you are smelly. What room are you in again? Okay, fine. I'm in, I'm in room 439. We don't have a room 439. Uh, well, I'd ask to see for yourself because you probably pass out from the smell going on the floor because it smells worse than my nephew's diapers and he's on a keto diet. No, I'll, I'll tell you a tangent. The pungent smell entering my nose and making me gag. Oh, you know what's a prank? Is you not cleaning up the pile of shit that's on the floor outside. Hi there. So, me and my husband are looking for a very luxurious hotel to stay at for a very special occasion. We were just wondering if this hotel is luxurious. In terms of what are you talking about for luxurious, it is a lovely hotel, yes, and I would say it's luxurious. Um, oh. On the 22nd floor. We do have a lovely rooftop pool on the 26th floor, but it's not palatial. Oh. If that makes a difference for you. It's not palatial? Or, um, no, it doesn't have a lot of land because we're more business and entertainment. Right across the way, we have the Crypto.com Arena. Uh, in my opinion, crypto is the devil, but uh, interesting. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, crypto is the devil, so I apologize. Oh, I've forgiven. <laughs> okay, well, if you want to feel more like you're escaping, if you want a little bit more palatial, if you will, I would probably try the Ritz Carlton and Santa Barbara. God, you, so you said Santa. Is, is it... Like holiday themed? No, Santa Barbara. Oh, who who's Barbara? It's in Santa Barbara. Interesting. I want to be at a place where I I feel beautiful. Like, do you feel beautiful walking oh, around the residence? You would. I think so. I think so. You can pamper yourself by going to spa, and if you want to just you know go up to the pool, feel lovely, and just relax. You should take a look at the pictures online. Okay. I also plan on bringing, I have a big family. I got nine kids. Can they come too? Can they come too? They can, but just realize that they can't stay overnight because there's too many guests in one room. Well, what's like a good yeah. spot like on the street, you know? It's you know. lovely. It is lovely. And it is literally across from Crypto.com Arena. You know what? I'm going to look online. I'm going to look at the presidential suite and my kids could stay in the crypto arena. So thank you so much. My pleasure. Have a lovely day. <laughs> Hello? She was amazing. I love her. If I had her following me around all day, hyping me up, I would be a completely different person. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't do this at home. Thanks for subscribing and tune in for our next video soon. Bye.